What's up, y'all, and welcome back to Country Cast. Today, we are going to take a look at some of the most wild and crazy times that country artists pause their shows to take matters into their own hands and address folks who were in the crowd causing a problem for others in attendance and folks who were causing an issue with the artist directly. And hell, some of them even made it on stage. And as we all know, that doesn't really end too well for them. So with that, let's get right into it. First up is a country superstar who has repeatedly shown that he has no issue dealing with unruly fans at his shows. That would be Tim McGraw. Here's a few of those times that Tim had to call out and, well, handle some of these folks. Check it out. Let me tell you something. Hold on. If you stupid son of a bitches don't start trying to fight, you don't be an idiot. You got a kid right here. Come on. I don't care if that's your girl. There's a kid right here. You're a grown man. Don't be an idiot. And that goes for you too. Don't be an idiot. It's country music, man. We all work hard. Just enjoy yourself. Now, that's more like it. Shake hands, apologize, and have a good time. I love my job. I'm going to come sit right over here just to prove it. Hey, sweetheart, how are you? You want to come sit by me for a second? All right. So while we are on Tim McGraw, how about his wife, Faith Hill? She'll call you out too. Remember the time a fan thought it was a good idea to inappropriately touch her husband? Yeah, that happened. Here it is. Check it out. Tim and Faith don't play games. Faith maintained her class, but I'm pretty damn surprised that that did not turn out a little differently. Moving on to our next country star, Luke Bryan. Back in 2016, Luke Bryan was performing at the Charlie Daniels Volunteer Jam, an event held yearly where Charlie Daniels would headline and many other acts would perform in Charlie's home state of Tennessee. During Luke's set, however, that night, things took a turn 
and Brian wasn't having any of it. Take a look. Now, after the concert, Luke Bryan's team released a statement to Taste of Country where they said, quote, a man in the front row was making crude hand gestures toward Luke during his performance. It was insulting not only to him, but more importantly to the men, women, and families sitting around him who were there to support and celebrate Charlie Daniels and the efforts of raising money for the military veterans, some of who were in the audience. The concert security personnel saw the man's disruptive actions at the event, and he was escorted out. There's always one, ain't there? Well, maybe not. There's a few out there who can't resist heckling because our next two artists had to go hands-on as well. Aaron Lewis and Toby Keith. Oh yeah, two fellows you might not want to mess with. First, let's get to Aaron Lewis. During a solo performance in Biloxi, Mississippi at the Hard Rock, a random fan thought it would be a good idea to get on the stage and approach Aaron. Sure, sounds like a great idea. Yeah, not really. Here it is. Not much of a surprise, but (laughs) pretty crazy when you think about the fact that this guy thought he could get on stage and just walk up to Aaron during his performance. But Aaron Lewis, as we know, he'll throw you out of his show, and hell, he'll even walk out on you at his show. Shut the f up! Listen, if you don't shut the f*** up, you can't even hear the guitar. So shut up. I've got three more f***ing minutes. Three. Can you please, for once, through the whole f***ing evening, you guys have talked all f***ing night. Shut the f*** up, or I'm done. Puff, puff, give. It's so f***ing ironic that this f***ing song is a thank you. (laughs) And I can't get you to shut the f*** to hear it. Like I said, he'll walk out on you too. Now, moving on to Toby Keith and doing what performers do best, put on a show to remember. Well, he at least tried. During his time in the crowd, he ended up making it very clear to everyone there that he does not play games with folks. Check this out.
Toby did apologize for his actions and explain that the concert goer continued to provoke him. And uh, Toby then went on to get right back into his performance. Now, the next two up on our list is Brantley Gilbert and Ryan Upchurch. Two more guys that will tell you just like it is in a heartbeat. Brantley and Ryan have both stopped their shows to address fans in the crowd who were fighting around children. Children, folks, come on. Here they are. Hey, 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 bro. Hey, hey, hey. Let me explain something to y'all, man. Hey. Y'all don't listen for shit, maybe, do you? Let me explain something to these boys here and know nothing about, all right? There's only two reasons you ever fight during a show. We got kids out here, man. The first reason you think you're impressing somebody, we ain't impressed. But number two, you just start a fight in here because you know somebody's going to break it up before you get your ass whipped. But if you're going to fight somebody tonight, Shake hands with a man and say, I see your ass in the parking lot. Yeah. And they still don't listen. Hey, her, man. We done? People just get out of hand, and acting nuts in the crowd is one thing, but to do it when you know there are children right beside you, good lord, folks. And last but not least on our list today is Justin Moore. Justin Moore had to teach a man in the audience a lesson and how to even be a man after he threw something at a lady in attendance. Here it is. You know, performing is already difficult, and to play parent while performing is just on a whole nother level. But for these artists to care about the safety of their fans and care about their experience really proves that they love what they do and they really give a damn about the fans. And it can be annoying sometimes because the show gets interrupted, but in all reality, they're human too. And for them to express those emotions when they see other folks being interrupted or even assaulted for that matter, uh, that is, that, that's pretty impressive to see. And we just wanted to share these with you guys because those are some wild times that country artists have had to really interact with a fan, probably in the way that they never thought that they would. But let us know your thoughts on all of this down below in the comments. We would love to hear what you think of how these were handled. And uh, that'll be it for today's video. If you are brand new to Country Cast, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below. Turn those notifications on as well so you never miss out on any breaking updates surrounding your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. Y'all stay country.